Today I'm gonna to do something truly horrifying. I'm gonna pull this brake out of this bike ah! without putting a chase in there or anything. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to put it back in without removing anything, without taking anything apart. And without removing the bottom bracket, without removing a little hatch, without any help whatsoever. We're gonna get it from all the way back here, all the way up to here. Well, the first thing you do anytime you're gonna mess with the brakes, exposing brake fluid, Brake fluid gonna be anywhere, take the pads out, okay? We're gonna go ahead and put a bleed block in here. We will be doing a bleed video after we're done showing you how to do this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove the line right now and then I'm gonna go ahead and blow it out and, uh, and get it nice and clear because uh, the next step is the money shot. In order to get this in there, we need one of these. Okay, this ought to be familiar too. That is a road bike end for when people used to have this thing called mechanical brakes way back in the past, okay? This particular one is super long, which I highly recommend for this once you see what we're going to do. Uh, this one is actually for a tandem, highly recommend that. It has to be a brake line. Could you use an inner wire like an SIS? You could, but we want it to be stiff, okay? See, this is thicker than the SIS wire. We want it to be stiff enough uh, so it doesn't have a tendency to get wrapped around itself. All right, so check this out. Imagine this is the frame, okay? Here's a magnet, it's pretty simple. See the wire in there? See what I can do? See how I'm steering it? A lot of you people have seen this trick before. Now, some people like to use, can use the magnet to drag it. If you're lucky, that'll work, but not all, all these bikes are smooth inside. Some of them have, you know, if they have a seam and they've got some like stalagmites and stalactites in there, you're not gonna be able to get past it quite like that. You need to have the ability to just steer it. And this is why we need to use the, the inner wire for a brake system. And that is we need it to be stiff enough that I can push it. Because what I'm doing is I'm pushing it from one end and steering it with the magnet. We're gonna start at this end, all right, right there. And we're going to, where I pulled it off the caliper, I'm gonna push this through the end, okay? Just like that. Oop, there's a little bit of residual fluid left over. Don't worry. I already blew, I already blew it out with compressed air, but there must have been some residual. And I'm just gonna feed it on in there. Now this end has, a, it's, it's welded at the end. Okay, you need to make sure and clean that up with some like 500 grit sandpaper or something. It needs to be really smooth because we don't wanna get in here and then accidentally uh, gouge the inner liner. There's a liner inside of this that actually carries the fluid that is fluid safe. And uh, obviously we don't wanna you know, we don't want to damage that. Pull it until it comes all the way to the end. Now what we're left with is we're left with this big whip off the front. Well, you push it in until you hit something, pretty much, which is, uh, happens pretty quick. And then you just need to feel and then listen. Now, a lot of people are wondering, you know, might wonder, oh, well, why don't you just uh, take the little hatch off and pull it up through there? There's a, you know, you ever heard the old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? Well, in the bike industry, if it ain't broke, don't take it apart. Because if you don't have to, I, see, I just, I, just pa I just went through a hurdle there. I just went past it. I guided it right through there. All right, come here. Can you hear that? That is the wire dragging on the inside of the frame as I feed it in there. Okay, so I can steer it way up here if I want, for whatever reason. Make sure your magnets are really smooth. You don't wanna scratch your new bike. Woo, look at that, it's a ghost. All right, so we're already popping out. Come around here and take a look. So I'm gonna bring this up. So I want you to show you guys jet right there. So I could get this thing all the way up to the head tube if I really wanted to. See how I can steer it? And they come right back, oop. Oh, there you go. Pride cometh before the fall, I guess. There you go. Right just like that. There we go. And then, whee! Just like that. A lot of you guys will probably be like, well, wait a minute. Why don't I just go ahead and use the inner wire and put it down in there and then like tape it to this and then drag it through? Uh, if this has ever been installed in anything and it has any brake fluid has ever been on it, good luck taping anything to it ever, even if you clean it with denatured alcohol, just for some reason doesn't work that well. Uh, also, what it allows you to do is now that this die end is in here, just like that, right? 
this die end is, is butted up against there, what you can do now is you can use this to pull, okay? And it pulls up against that and it'll just, if you really need to pull the line through, uh, usually not common with frames, really common with internally routed handlebars where you just have to be able to give it a little uh, to get it through there. Now this one actually requires me to pull on it pretty hard because it gets really tight in here. As you can hear, I'm actually up against something. So I'm gonna have to come down to this end right here. I've actually had to take vice grips before. You end up wrecking this one, but you put vice grips on it to pull it through because <laughs> it really just doesn't wanna come. So what it allows you to do because of that die end is to really, really pull on it. You can see, actually you can hear more than anything. You hear it? It, it's really, really going through here very tight. And if you were just trying to like push it through, it would be impossible. Now we've got the hose out. So you see how it's done. Next thing we're gonna do, brake bleed.